Yeah, I had the fleet out today, rearranging shed space. I made a circle with each tractor in the fresh snow. Now we're going to measure and see the difference between wide and narrow fronts and different sized tractors. So we're going to go the very inside circle on each one and just do that. So the 806 standard is right about at 8 feet. And we'll start from the biggest and move our way down. The next one I had out was the, my 41 Farmall M with a Schwartz wide front end. And that's got about a five and a half foot circle here. Well, that's pretty good for a wide front tractor. That's again, that's the M with the Schwartz wide front. And over here, have the H with a Spico wide front end on it. That one's seven feet. So that, uh, that front end's probably got the stop set a little different than the Schwartz. Makes a little wider circle. And then this one is from the H with a narrow front end. The front end slipped a little bit, so I'll try and get the narrowest part here. Right at about five feet with a narrow front. And over here was the C for the wide front. That one's nine feet. So out of all of them, that 41M with the Schwartz wide front end doesn't have any stops on the steering arms, but I mean it still turns nice and short. And the 806 standard, which many people claim those Wheatland or standard tractors just don't turn very sharp, that's got just about as small a circle as any of the little farm walls. So any one of them's about the same. I guess the C is probably one of the worst. That wide front end doesn't turn very short, but they each have their purpose and they get used.